Hello and welcome to the 2019 United States Amateur Disc Golf Championships here in Milford, Michigan. And I am super stoked to be doing the video and commentary for this event because this event and this course is absolutely amazing and I, I love this course. So for the final round, we are going to be following Kyle Klein, who is from Granville, Michigan, Noah Osborne from Jonesboro, Tennessee, Cody Parsons from Sauk Rapids, Minnesota, and then rounding off our card is Billy Page from Fairborn, Ohio. States Amateur Disc Golf Championships. We're now ready for our feature card. Team first, Kyle Klein. And here we go. Obviously, starting on hole number one. Hole number one is 477 feet, pretty downhill. Um, you can score really well on this course, knowing your angles, knowing how to throw up and down hills. So I mean, this this hole is long, but if you know your angles, you know you know how they your discs fly on on some uh, downhill holes, you can definitely get there with, I mean, even say like a putter. I mean, you, you're definitely gonna have to crush it, but put it on the uh, on the right line and, and angle, you can you can definitely get it down there. Kyle threw a really nice sidearm. Noah here is going with the turnover, yes. but I think he just kind of had that a little too high. So, I mean, it, it was looking good, but there's just so much air underneath it where he's he was allowed to uh, hyzer out. So, I mean, he's he's kind of in not the best spot down there because he's not really going to be able to see the basket from from that area. He'll be able to find his disc pretty easily, but it's going to be a blind next shot. And then last to tee is Billy here. He's also going with the turnover. And that, that was a pretty decent height, just a lot of angle on it. So, I mean, that one didn't really have a chance to kind of come out of it. As you can see here, he's uh, he's come up a bit short, but a pretty easy up and down. And personally, on this hole, if you have the sidearm, I mean, that's I think that's really the play. That's going to be the, the highest percentage if you have it. Personally, I, I like throwing a backhand on this hole. Yeah, that's also because I don't have... The best sidearm. I don't. I don't have that distance. I'm trying to like. I could get it there, but it's a lot of power. <laughs> I, I don't have that control. And as you can see, Noah had to uh, run up the hill a little bit so he could actually see where the basket was and throw a really good shot. He's he's well within the circle. And then Cody also had a pretty good tee shot. Um, he he went back in on it, and this looks like it either. It looks like it probably kind of cut rolled on him, maybe. His disc did seem to have like quite a bit of angle off the tee. And then Kyle didn't get to the right enough, so I mean he was probably about 60 feet away. Give it wanted to give it like a decent run, but I mean it's it's the start of the round, so it's it's almost anyone's game at this point. I mean he's he's kind of running away with it. I mean people are gonna have to make up a lot of strokes on him, and these are all. Uh, very talented players. I'd say Billy's probably the most out of it. He's gonna have to shoot some stellar golf if he wanted to to hunt Kyle down or, or anybody else in the uh, like the top three spots. But these are still some very good, respectable scores. Next, we have hole two. This is the only par five on the course. It's 726 feet. It's it's a pretty short par five, but it, it makes up in length in uh, in the elevation. The elevation plays a huge, huge role on this. And personally, like it's it can be really easy to eat or not eagle, uh, really easy to birdie, uh, just throwing a couple hyzers. So I mean, you can play to the base of the hill before it starts the incline, or you can try to get up the hill if you're really trying to eagle it, and. Personally, the, the only way I, I see anyone kind of going up there, like trying to get on the hill, is because they're trying to get that eagle. And it's it's definitely attainable. It's just a really tricky thing to do, is get that power from, from running on the hill. So, I mean, the distance isn't necessarily the problem. It's just the, the power is a very difficult thing here. 
But as you can see, everyone so far is is kind of trying to get up the hill a bit. Cody there went more uh, traditional, so he's going to have a, a pretty easy second shot on pretty level ground. Billy is also trying to get up that hill a ways, but nobody's really in the best spot to go for their second shot to crest the hill for that eagle look, in my opinion. So these are all going to be kind of difficult. Yeah, Cody's just going kind of for that easy birdie look. So, I mean, he's simple hyzer followed by simple hyzer he's gonna have a relatively easy upshot and i would imagine he's he's at least gonna give himself a look for that birdie and then billy here he's on the side of a berm so i mean he doesn't have the best footing you got a bunch of vines there and he doesn't it didn't look like he really got much power or snap behind that so that kind of just went to the other side of the fairway without being turned over and here you can see that uphill run up where he's it's it's just messing with him because he saw I mean he he fell backwards almost immediately as he threw it it's it's really hard to get that weight transfer into the disc on this hill and like kind of a a, a secret would be like running sideways is is the best way I've found to to throw up hills like that where you can still kind of control it but it's it's a weird kind of controlled grip lock And then as you can see, Billy, it, it took us a minute to find his disc, but we ended up finding it, luckily. Has to pitch out there. And he's actually right by Cody, but he's this is going to be his birdie attempt. But he's just going to lay up and, and take his five, just take his medicine real quick, which is smart. Cody doing the same thing, but he's, he's throwing up to, uh, to have a birdie look. Which is a really nice thing to do. Kyle doing the same thing. A little further up the hill, just off to the right. And definitely, if these guys had some better footing, they would uh, they would have been cresting this hill. But, like I said, it's, it's a pretty tough thing to do on this hole. Noah just giving it a little sidearm up shot. And then here we got Cody within the circle for his birdie. Man, and and unfortunately that was that was tough to watch. It was a really unfortunate miss. It, it kind of looked like he was a little timid, which is definitely understandable. I mean, you're on the final round lead card, sitting in third place, and uh, I, I'm guessing it was nerves. I mean, he didn't get here out of luck. I mean, he got here out of skill. So my my guess would be it's there's there's some nerves going on. And then here we got Noah with a great putt. And that's that's for his birdie. That's uh that's pretty traditional. He was he was barely off the fairway on his second shot, but I mean as as you can see, I mean it was fairly easy to get up and down. Same thing with Kyle there. Really nice birdies from these guys. A pretty uh a pretty fortunate par for Billy there with um Kind of a not so good second shot, but I mean, he made up with it on his on playing smart on his outs, and then an unfortunate spit for Cody there. So we are on to the hole three. This hole is a par four. It's 915 feet from the tee. It, it kind of looks like it's uh, a big Anheuser, and it, it's really not. I mean, it it does kind of veer off to the right, but. Kind of the trick here I've found is you want to take like something fast and stable, something you know isn't really going to turn on you, and throw it flat and hard, so that way you don't have to worry about it kind of getting lost into the right, because you could really play to 13's fairway, which is to the left of the berm on this fairway, and have a completely open shot. So I mean, that kind of allows you, and being okay with it, not going to the right. Unless you do what Kyle does here, and he just smashes it down the middle. I believe that was a uh, a cloud breaker from him there. And then we got Noah here doing basically the same thing. He kind of, this is the more perfect shot in my opinion. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He got it a little more left, got it a little turned, and it just, it rode. Like all that gravity was pulling it down, keeping it 
on that angle for a little longer, and he's, he's going to have a really close second shot. Again, I think he's going to be too close to the hill to see it, but, I mean, that's it's really nice not having to throw, like, a really strong second shot to get to the pin. Cody also throwing a great shot. Not quite as far, but, I mean, he, he pured it down the middle. I think if he had that a little lower, it would have had a little more distance, kind of like what Billy's doing here. And he threw something maybe a little too stable to try to get the, the lines like everybody else. But, again, that's, it's, that's a totally fine shot. I mean, if, if you're going to mess up, you're gonna, you want to mess up to the left where it's wide open. The only thing you really have to contend with is the berm that he's on, but doesn't seem to be a problem for him. I mean, he's he's looks to be well within the circle. And then Cody, from when I was watching this in person, it looked perfect, but it was some really sneaky distance there. And he's actually on the far side of the circle, probably about 40 feet out from the basket. And then Kyle and Noah are about the same distance, just Kyle's off to the right, as you can see. He actually had to run up the berm to, to see where the basket is. And he's, he's going sidearm. I believe this is an FD3, your uh, traditional basic Firebird-style disc. And that's that looks to be under the basket. And then same thing with Noah. He's same angle, just left side of where Kyle was. And... Going back in, I believe this was a putter of some some kind. I'm not sure which. And and he's well within the circle as well. And then let's see if if Cody can actually get this put away, because that would be a really nice birdie. And it's it's hard to tell if he was trying to run that or just lay it up. I mean that's kind of a a, a long run with not too much backboard behind it. So, I mean, again, it's early into the round. I mean, it's only hole three, so it's it's hard to tell. I don't know. It's you want to play your game, but depending on how you want to play, I mean, you kind of want to be aggressive. This is kind of the time to be doing it. But there's you also want to play for placement too. Maybe it's just kind of playing for placement. And there we go with Billy making his birdie putt. Very nice birdies from a couple of these guys. I believe this this is a shoe in for Kyle. This is a very textbook birdie from all three of these guys, really. Cody with the the only par, unfortunately, and the only thing is is that his second shot was just a uh, a little too strong. And then hole four, another par four. It's 580 feet. This is, in my opinion, kind of a, a weird tweener hole. I, I personally like the old layout a little more. I totally get the green. I think it's a really nice green to use and utilize, but I think the the breakdown of the hole, it doesn't really, I don't know. It's, it's, it's kind of a, a, a weird hole to me. It's not a bad hole. I just, I like the old tee pad a little more. It kind of lets it be a tougher par three as to where this is kind of a softer par four. Now I'd imagine we're going to see a bunch of hyzers from these guys, just like Kyle. He, again, throwing that DD3, I think. I know it's a cloud, but I don't, I don't remember <laughs> the DD3. I, I, I believe that's correct. Either way, he smashes it. I mean, it's basically a destroyer. No one doing the same thing. I think that green disc is... I think that disc is actually a wraith that he's throwing there. And then Billy throwing this white disc. And this white disc, I do believe, I'm like 99% sure this is a T-Rex that he's throwing. Some old school, kind of your uh, destroyer before the destroyer type disc. And then Cody. I'm not sure what he's throwing here, but he's he's doing the same thing. He's, he's throwing a high hazard just like everybody else. He's going a little more straight at it. And that's going to get caught up by that pine tree there, unfortunately. So he's going to have a tougher second shot because you want to advance up this fairway quite a bit to be able to get to that tree line you see in the middle of the fairway and he, th he throws a great shot that's a really tough shot and that angle how he has to approach the green 
Um, I, I know he does have a sidearm, so I mean, I'm guessing the angle was was not the best for it, or maybe he wasn't feeling it, but regardless, he threw a great shot. And then as you can see, Noah here, he's going to throw a sidearm as well. That, I think that was a mid-range. It kind of looked like a Justice or Anvil Gator style type disc. I mean, he he didn't quite get some ground action, which was surprising. I mean, that's some pretty hard dirt, but he's he's on the circle's edge for for his birdie three. And then Kyle's going putter. Kind of the same thing as Noah's. I mean, it just looks like a great line, just didn't really get that ground play. And then Billy also following suit. And also, I mean, the three guys threw three of the same shots into the same spot and didn't really get some ground action. Kyle actually came up a little shorter than the other two. So he's he's well outside the circle. I mean, it's it's uphill. It's hard to kind of capture it on here, but you, you can see it. And he just gets off the top band. But fortunately, he doesn't go too far. He's, he's still within the circle. Cody from a little closer see if he can get this one because that would be really nice and then unfortunately just again it's like slightly timid they're coming out super clean it's just they're slightly off unfortunately and then we got billy and noah like literally next to each other and billy's just off the right side chains not quite enough to get it to to grab it and pull it in it's just that weird glancing blow and Noah's got a really solid putt. I mean, it's super clean. Great putt there from Noah. I mean, he's definitely really confident. And the, the thing that surprises me, he actually was playing this course blind, from what I understand. So, I mean, he's he's killing this course. He obviously knows his angles. He knows how to play hills because he didn't really, uh, when I was talking to him, he said he wasn't real. he came into this course blind and was just killing it and... I mean that's that's really surprising and and good on him. That's that's really impressive. Here we got these guys cleaning up their pars. Luckily everyone didn't roll down that hill cuz on the back side of that hill it actually drops off a lot. It's it's more steep than on the front side of that hill you see when they're coming into it. So this is one of the few par 3s on the on the course that's actually doable. So it's a par 3, it's 300 feet. Uh, this is actually significantly, well, not significantly different than the old layout um, in years past. Uh, this is the same as as the last couple years. It's it's a little bit longer. It's a little more tight and technical. But they did open up the the fairway up the middle. This used to be just kind of throw it over the trees and hope for the best. This one now there's actually there's actually a line to the basket, but it's it's still a tight shot. As you can see how, how Noah threw it there. It's actually a pretty good line. I think he clipped a tree at the very end of the flight, but that was a very good looking shot. And Kyle's actually going sidearm here. And personally, I don't, I mean, to get to the basket, you kind of got to be advancing forward still. And you can't really get that out of a sidearm, like where the, how the angles are in my opinion. But I mean, you can definitely get a look at it. It's just really tough to park it. And Billy's doing the thing you don't want to do is is leaving it a little wide. And he grabs that, that pine tree. And he's going to have a pretty tough second shot. And then Cody doing the same thing. He's going sidearm in this hole. He gets a little flatter. Which doing something like that is how you're going to get that little more advancement down the fairway to to get to the green more. But doing that, you're, you're flirting with more trees that are more straightforward. And there's a lot of them there. So it's... It's kind of a risky shot. I think personally, if you have a backhand, that turnover style shot, I think that's that's the way to go. Nice. Billy threw a great shot there after a long time contemplating how to throw it. He puts it well within the circle. Was, that was a phenomenal shot. And then here we got Kyle for the birdie look. Outside the circle, about 40 feet. Again, he's just glancing, glancing off those chains. I mean, it's it's right there. I mean, he's he's definitely got the game. I mean, he shot two fifty twos to to start the tournament. I mean, that's that's nasty. Those are really good scores. And Cody, I'm trying, I mean, he got Cody got it 
the right height this time, basically. It, was, it, it wasn't low, it wasn't left or right. It was just a little high over the basket. And Noah there. See, that's, personally, that's how you birdie it. I mean, obviously, that's how you birdie it. But I, th I really like that backhand line, and, and his putting is, is just super solid right now. I'm, I'm really liking his style. Man, and unfortunately, Cody just kind of limps it a little bit, and it just falls out to the left. And Kyle, these guys just cleaning up. The last few shots. And then this is this is actually much closer than what I thought Billy was from down there from what it looked like. And that's I mean, that's a phenomenal recovery shot by Billy there. And then an unfortunate bogey for Cody there. Now we are on to hole number six. This is personally one of my more favorite holes out here. I think this hole is utilized super well. The gully and everything, you're playing hill to hill. Uh, it's, it's a really nice par four at 632 feet. So you want to, you want to crest the next hill pretty much as far as you can, if at all. So you can have a really clean second shot. This is kind of the same thing as what hole two is. If you're trying to to get an easier second shot you're gonna have to uh kind of bite off as much as you can on the first but this one more so you want to crest the hill because it's not that hard as you can see noah doing here very well and that again i think that's a this is where i believe he told me this was uh, a star wraith that he was throwing and that's picture perfect kyle here i'm not sure what this pink disc is Really didn't like it. I was I was wondering why he didn't throw that white disc of his, but I mean from over there it's it's relatively open. I mean he might have a chance to kind of attack it, but it's it's gonna be tough regardless. And then Billy just absolutely rips on this hole. This is this is the farthest drive I've seen on this hole. Hands down. It was absolutely disgusting. That was a T that white T Rex I was telling you about. And then we got Cody. Again, I'm not sure what this orange disc is. I, I keep wanting to say Valkyrie, and I don't think that's correct. I really don't think that's correct at all. And he, even where he's from, he's he's in a great spot. Maybe not necessarily up as far as he would like, but he's he's going to have the ability to, to throw a shot to get up there instead of having to throw a layup shot. And then, as you can see, Kyle there hidden in the trees just... Didn't he didn't have the best best opportunity there to get up there. I mean he tried, but he's he's in the other side of the fairway now. And then Cody's stuck with a standstill here. He's he's got the power to get there. It's just a little turned over. Cliffs that tree, so he's gonna have he's gonna be about sixty five ish feet away from the basket at the base of the hill there. But Noah and Billy, where they're at here, this is this is the prime spot. This is a very, very easy second shot. Very open, very, very picture perfect, like right where you want to be. As, as you can see, Noah putting it up there on top of the hill. And then Billy, I, I believe this is a mid-range he's throwing it. And he threw it pretty soft, but still with a lot of speed. Like, I, I think that this might be the furthest he went down there, so... He, he kind of overshot it with how close he was to the pin, actually. So he's actually outside of the circle putting for his three. And then Noah here from the other side. That, as you can see, there's a lot of foliage and trees to, to miss there. And he peered it. He's, he's up in the circle. So, I mean, that's a great recovery shot. And then Cody looking like he's, he's just laying up for a four there. It does drop off a bit. Billy here also checking to see how... How much of a drop off, how steep it is. So probably gauging how, if he should run this or not. I mean, this is for a birdie three, but it's it's kind of death putty. It's, well, it's it's pretty death putty, <laughs> actually. So I mean, that, that, again, one of those, I'm not sure if it was laying up or running it, but I, I would imagine it's just kind of a layup. Kind of be safe. I mean, he's in a really good spot. 
Um, score wise, he's got there's a lot of golf left to to capitalize on some other stuff. And then Noah with another great putt. I mean, he's so far on the front nine. He's he's killing it. His putting is is super solid right now. And we got Kyle just just cleaning up his par. Really good par save after not the best tee shot, not the best second shot. But I mean, it's a none of it was bad enough to get super punished. In years past, like three plus years ago, those would have been almost impossible shots. This this course used to be super thick and filled with um, olive bushes that were just super thick and nasty, and, and they cut out a bunch of those. So here we got a couple birdies, a couple pars. And we're going to be moving on to hole number seven. And hole number seven is another par four. It's only 483 feet. And even if it was more wide open, like this is a pretty uphill hole. So, I mean, it's, it's just under 500 feet. I would say that this probably plays maybe like a 700-ish foot hole layout. So, I mean, because your first shot, you're... You're more focused on hitting this initial gap. So, I mean, you want to hit this gap. You want to throw something a little faster, a little low, so you miss that hanging branch up top. And you want to do exactly what Noah does here. You're throwing a hyzer, you, you nail the gap, and you're still advancing. So, I mean, you want to get to the second hill up here so you can have a really clean second shot. And if you can do that, it's, it's pretty wide open. Or it is wide open. Unless you stay too far to the right, then you got some trees to contend with. But if you get left enough, you can, you're going to have a, a very straight open look at the basket. And Billy throwing that T-Rex. Kind of gets it to the right. I, I think he grazed the branch up there, which kind of kicked him right a little more. But, I mean, he's still in a great spot. He's just going to have that tree I was telling you about to contend with. And then Cody here. I'm not sure what this disc is. He's also going a little right. But he does hit the gap. He gets over the bush out there. And he's kind of going to be where Billy's at and contending with that tree. And then Noah. Not, not exactly with a straight at it look. He definitely does have to throw an Anheuser. But it's, it's not super bad. But notice how high he's got to throw it to get it to get to the basket. I mean, he's not that far out, and then he puts it next to the basket. I was at like 15 feet or so. And then Cody's actually, he was a lot further right than I thought. So he's actually opting for this sidearm play, which I'm not. He, he unfortunately misses his gap a little bit, gets caught up by the foliage, so he doesn't actually get out into the fairway. He's going to have relatively the same shot again, and it's going to be a little more difficult. And then Kyle here throwing another putter up shot. I'm not sure which which disc that is, but he's he's well within the circle. Billy doing the same thing. He's gonna be right there next to Noah, maybe a little further away. But as you can see, Cody here is gonna be. He's not in a good spot. There's there's a lot of stuff to get through. That it's 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 a pretty tough shot, unfortunately, and he's. Unfortunately, he's just going to grab some more of the foliage, and he's going to have a not-so-fun fourth shot here. Again, going with a sidearm up shot. I don't think he's running this. I think he's just looking to get up and down and, and get off this hole, unfortunately, because, I mean, it is a par four, but taking a five in this hole definitely feels like you're taking a double, double bogey. Noah here, another solid putt. Be taking the picture perfect birdie on this hole. I mean, all three of these guys really. Again, this this is another hole I I do like quite a bit. I like par fours a lot. It, it brings more of a skill set in the game where you're you're trying to play for placement so you can attack the pin on your second shot. I really enjoy that a lot. All right, next up is hole number eight. 
This is another part of three, and this is actually a very gettable hole. At 462 feet, it is an entirely blind hole, which is gonna make it pretty difficult. So as you can see here through the, through the drone footage, kind of the fairway that they're gonna be playing, but all the discs are gonna be much higher than where the drone is gonna be fl is flying. So they're all throwing big swooping hyzers with fast discs over all these trees you can see here and trying to crash into the green. That's, that's gonna be the toughest spot is trying to weasel your way through the trees to get to the green because they do block a lot of shots. So as, as fairly straightforward as this hole is, it's, it's still relatively technical. And all these guys, they're all gonna be doing the same thing. It's just, now you're just hoping to get through the trees so you can get yourself a putt. I mean, worst case scenario, you hit the trees and and you're outside of circle one, putting from probably, I, I mean, I would say about 45, 50 feet is the average putt when you throw a good shot that hits the trees. And this is Noah here. I, I think he ended up getting caught up by one of the far trees because this shot looked really good. I think it just kind of dropped and got snagged a little bit. So he's actually just inside the circle and then Cody ended up relatively short, but he, he makes the gap, and he's on the far side of the basket in the circle for his three. Billy has turned himself into a tree, but he's he's just outside the circle putting for birdie. It's actually a really good drive, but just kind of limps it there a little bit. So he's it looks like he's going to be taking a three here. And then Kyle with a great shot. It was online just a little too high. And then Noah, unfortunately, going to be taking a bogey here. So, I mean, this hole, I again, this hole I like a lot. It's, I mean, I like it as well because you get the opportunity to also take a two on this course on a hole that's a, a relatively long hole. Um, unfortunately, it's it's blind. So, I mean, I the thing, I wish you could see the actual hole flight, but... I do enjoy playing this hole. It's it's just a tough one. All right, so everyone's cleaning up here. Everyone's going to be taking. Everyone's going to be taking a, a three on this hole, except for Noah, who's unfortunately going to be taking the bogey. But that's the sport of disc golf. On to the last hole of the front nine. This is a par three at 425 feet. And this is the opposite of hole number eight. This is gonna be a turnover and it's gonna be uphill the majority of the way. And there's a very small window to hit. At, you wanna hit at the perfect angle, at the perfect height to get the perfect light up to the basket. Kind of where Kyle's was going there. His was a little too turned over. It, maybe if that was a little more left, he would have hit that gap to get up to the basket. I mean, all these guys, well, most of these guys, because Billy, he, he goes more straight up the hill. I think he was, he's playing this more for a three instead of trying to get the two, even though he, he definitely has the distance. Um, I think he just didn't want to contend with all this stuff on the right side, because if you do get it turned a little too far, just kind of like what Cody did there. You got a lot of bushes to get through. And then Noah here yep. kind of does the same thing that Kyle does. It's just a little too inside, a little too turn maybe. But I mean, as you can see, if maybe if they got a little left, they would have advanced up a little more and hit that gap that, that he's going to be putting through. And this is, this is definitely probably, I would say the hardest par three on the course. Yeah, Noah's like was literally maybe a disc or two ahead of Kyle here. But they throw some great up shots. Billy on the far side, definitely more open, but I mean he's he's throwing the straight at it shot from the tee. So he's gonna be up there for an easy three. Cody actually got through everything with his lower shots. So, I mean he's slightly in the bush, but I mean he's the closest one out of everyone. So I mean that's where 
that's that's where the distance can kind of come in where it's it, it's there it's just you gotta there's a little bit of luck involved in, in getting that that sneaky distance so i mean it's i've only seen this whole toad maybe a handful of times all right guys so there you have it this is the front nine of the 2019 am nats as you can see, it's a it's a pretty close race. Kyle's kind of running away with it, though. But, I mean, Noah is playing some really solid golf. But we're going to see. Join us back on the back nine. We'll see you soon. Thanks, guys.